natural resources of Asia. The greatest natural wealth of Asia is its agricultural resources, but they are unevenly distributed. About one sixth of Asia's land area is suitable for agriculture. Agriculture is carried on in the fertile river valleys of the Tigris Euphrates, Indus, Ganga Brahmaputra, Sikyang, Shanghyang, and Huanghe. Rainfall is unevenly distributed during the year, and so irrigation done by the use of canals is of great importance. Four types of agricultural methods are carried out in Asia. The first type is shifting agriculture, which is the oldest type of agriculture. It is also known as a slash and burn method. In this method, land is cleared by cutting and burning trees, after which seeds are planted. This is a wasteful method of cultivation because after two three years the land becomes infertile and then a fresh clearing is carried out on a new land which leads to deforestation. Shifting agriculture is carried on in some hilly regions of Southeast Asia where there is plenty of rainfall and the hills are covered with thick forests. Tuber crops like yams and tapioca are grown. The second type of agriculture, subsistence agriculture, is practiced by most farmers in South and Southeast Asia. In this type, the farms are small and traditional methods of farming are followed. Much of Asia lies in the tropics and warm temperate latitudes. Hence, two crops can be harvested in a year. The farmers often raise some livestock chiefly to help with the work. The third type of agriculture is plantation agriculture. Begun by European colonial rulers, it is also widespread in Asia, especially in parts of India, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Indonesia and the Philippines. Here, huge estates of land are planted with a single crop like rubber, sugarcane, coffee, tea or bananas which are major items of export. The fourth type of agriculture is the extensive agriculture which is carried on in some parts of Central Asia and West Siberia. Due to the large size of the farm and the low density of population, manual labor is not possible. Machines are used to perform almost all farming operations. Wheat is the most important crop cultivated. Two-thirds of the cultivated land grows food crops. The chief food crops of Asia are rice and wheat. Rice is a tropical crop of the monsoon region. More than 90% of the world production of rice comes from China and India. The other large producers of rice are Japan, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Indonesia, Thailand, etc. Wheat is a crop of the subtropical and the temperate region. It grows well in cool climates with moderate rainfall. Wheat is grown in Asian Russia, Central Asian countries, North China, India, Pakistan, and Southwest Asia. In India and Pakistan, wheat is cultivated during the winter season. Millet, like Jawar, Bajra, and Ragi, is cultivated where rice cannot be grown due to poor soil or lack of water. It is used as food for people and livestock. Like rice, it is native of Asia and has been cultivated probably for over 7,000 years. Various cash crops like cotton, sugarcane, tea, rubber and jute are also cultivated in Asia. China, India, Pakistan, Turkey 
and Syria are the leading cotton growing countries of Asia. India and China are the second and fourth largest producers of sugarcane in the world respectively. The other important producers of sugarcane are Philippines, Indonesia, Bangladesh, China and Taiwan. China, India, Indonesia, Sri Lanka and Japan are the leading producers of tea. Jute grows best in the delta of the Ganga Brahmaputra. Bangladesh is the largest producer in the world, followed by India. 90% of the raw rubber comes from Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia and Sri Lanka. Malaysia is the largest producer and exporter of rubber in the world. In the drier parts of South Asia and in the temperate grasslands of Central Asia, people make a living by rearing animals. They get cheese, butter, meat, fur and hides for clothing etc. from the animals. Some animals are used for transportation. Camels, goats and sheep are the most important animals in Southwest Asia. In Central Asia, Bactrian camels, goats, sheep and yaks are reared. Cattle and sheep are important in the temperate grasslands. Reindeer herding is a major activity in the north. Asia has large areas covered with two main types of forests which provide valuable forest products. The first type of forest is a hardwood forest which includes the equatorial forest, the monsoon forest and the temperate deciduous forest. These forests are well known for teak, mahogany, rosewood, bamboo, sandalwood and camphor. The second type of forest is a softwood forest which includes the coniferous forest society. Soft wood is used for making paper pulp, synthetic textiles and matchsticks. Much of the Asian population depends on fishing as an occupation and fish as a source of protein in their diet. Most of the fishing is done in traditional boats. Japan and Russia are the largest and the most modern fishing industry. The leading countries for fishing after Japan and Russia are China, India, Indonesia and South Korea. Asia has some of the richest mineral deposits in the world. Asia has large deposits of iron ore which is the most important mineral for the development of modern industry. India and China are the largest producers of iron ore in Asia. About 50% of coal reserves are found in Asia. Large coal deposits are found in western Siberia in Russia, in northwest China and in the peninsular plateau of India. The richest oil and petroleum reserves in the world are in Asia, mainly in southwest Asia in the Persian Gulf region. India, Siberia and China are large manganese producers of Asia. India ranks third in the world production of manganese. Malaysia is the largest producer of tin in the world. Other important producers of tin are China, Myanmar, Indonesia and Thailand. India is among the largest producers of mica in the world. Mica is a transparent mineral found in igneous rocks. Gold is found in Siberia in Russia, China, Mongolia and India. The main countries that produce silver in Asia are Malaysia, Indonesia and Myanmar. China is the largest producer of tungsten in the world. It is produced by South Korea and Thailand. 